Hello and welcome back to XCOM Camera Squad. My name is Saiken and we're playing Impossible Iron Man difficulty with the Hardcore mod enabled. Hardest difficulty, only one safe game and if you lose a mission you are going to fail. So that's how we roll. Unfortunately something happened uh, in the game which I consider to be a bug and I was reading up on it. It took me between last and this mission probably around a good amount of uh, five to six hours to actually fix all of it um, and it's not fully fully fixed so here's a warning that I could uh, give you and maybe when this airs uh, the bug is uh, fixed if you are um, if you are essentially training uh, someone just like Cherub here or uh, or Verge whomever um, you can still edit the uh, um, inventory in the um, in the uh, armory. Now, by pulling certain items out of the inventory, such as unique weapons that have a specific um, ability, um, the num keys that are bound to these abilities in the game. Uh, for instance, Lightning Hands is one of the abilities, uh, the ability Lightning Hands, which is bound to num, num key 3, um, all of a sudden has no more value that it could relate to. So when the training finishes, a new ability comes um, on top uh, of the existing abilities, essentially um, taking its uh, slot on the num keys, and there is an empty value and that messes, messes up a lot. It had uh, led to a huge problem where um, Torque wasn't being able to wear any armor or any weapon, couldn't even like, uh, properly be equipped. Uh, so um, what I needed to do is I actually needed to fix it via the console, which is definitely not my favorite uh, way of dealing with it. And when I went into it, it became more and more of a rabbit hole because unfortunately I did kind of a SMG trade uh, from, um, from ter terminal over uh, shelter to torque so all, all three of them were affected and all of a sudden i needed to kind of re-instate uh, uh, the um, all of the muscle work uh, armors uh, their extra items and so on and so forth so my recommendation to you is if you don't want to go through that amount of issues specifically if you only have a single safe game and um, it's being stored on steam Boy, then you definitely should uh, not mess around with the training. Big uh, lesson for me, uh, the operatives now have separate um, inventories. It is what it is. And as long as someone's in training, we're just not touching them. Um, so that is it. Let me bring you up to speed because uh, there was a mission in between, uh, the terror mission in between, uh, which I couldn't record because I was actually... <laughs> forced in the middle of the mission um, to unbind and bind certain abilities. For instance, Torque's tongue uh, grab was no longer available and her animation was completely broken. So I needed to give her a new tongue grab and try to get rid of the old, which kind of works. She now has two tongue grabs, one which works and one which does not. So life is hard in, um, in City 31. And these are just the side consequences of it. I hope you have an understanding uh, for that. There's a small break, but we're jumping right into the next mission. After we uh, cleared uh, out the, um, the unrest, which was actually quite simple, we are now on a mission called Need a Ride, um, where we could get uh, nice armor mods, a couple of utility items, and 50 intel on top of it. So that's easy peasy, plus we're reducing uh, the unrest there. We're going to take our new team, and finally, I wanted to show you the new team in action. We got uh, Axiom, Claymore, uh, Torque, and Shelter. Oh, one important uh, topic, Torque had been leveled up once, um, and... I have given her the improved bind ability just to make it more painful when you, uh, when someone's being bound. So uh, we have a decent equipment. I would say it's fine and we should give it a go. It's only one encounter uh, so might as well 
rock and roll. All right. We do have a VIP and we need to get him out of here. Last unit through the entrance gains plus one armor for the encounter. All units entering gain uh, three mobility. That's perfect. So who needs a bit of extra armor? I would say shelter could use one. Um, we're going in with torque. I would like claymore, axiom, and a shelter. Move in now. Let's have a good look. We had a trooper, a bruiser, another trooper, a berserk, a necromancer, whom we should go for, and another trooper. You know what? This trooper is positioned so prominently, might as well start getting him down. Wow. The shotguns really have a very moderate range. Yeah, I like the idea that we're going for the... It's almost the same uh, hit chance, but the Necromancer is aggressive, so might as well just try to hit him. 96 is a different story. Nice little disorientation for everyone. And that's our VIP. Good. Oh, Torque's uh, tongue pull might be working again. That would be so cool. But before we get too excited, it's only one encounter, right? Right. Okay. So let's move up. I don't want to deal with the Necromancer. Let's get Shelter up. And look at that, that's the beauty of improved grab, right? Uh, improved bind. Just go to sleep. <laughs> nice. Five points of damage, that's good. Um, I'd like to deal with that trooper here and basically push him further down the line. We got two armor, so shelter should be fine for now. Good, so that's extra damage right off the bat. And I mean, we could definitely just kill him. There we go. Let's, we're clearing house. Moving all over here. If we kill too many of them, we might get reinforcements right away. Necromancer's bound, so he can't do anything. We could get uh, the guy with a single, sh uh, with a simple shot. Um, 
I mean, I want to move and advance, but at the same time I appreciate how easy it is to just get this guy down. Yeah, we can still teleport uh, Claymore over or do something else. Reducing enemies is just super helpful. Make way. Axiom is moving up. And we deal some very solid damage uh, towards the Berserk, who is now probably going to retaliate against Shelter. Gotta get away here. Car is going to explode. And we gotta deal with the Berserk. Alright, releasing the bind. And we are instead moving over here. Slithering. That would be a cool turn. Getting the VIP even further. Or taking Axiom out of, uh, out of there. But realistically, we might want to deal with the Necromancer. And again, thanks to approved bind, we should be good to go. Bingo. Very strong character, I absolutely like her. Let's get Claymore into a good position. Shelter can always teleport to the Bruiser. And this might kill the Bursa. It luckily hasn't killed the VIP, that's a good sign. Moving up. We can't let this guy here um, take the VIP, so we're going to to use an old trick, which is offering a better target. And Axiom is also moving in. Very nice. That's a good old natural rage building up in Axiom. Moving to position. All right, we can't fully leave, not yet.
four could go here, which is a pretty uh, solid position. We want to make sure that the smuggler definitely gets out. Let's not make this a thing. All right, so next up, let's relocate the bruiser. And we could get out of here, which I think we can and should do. Smuggler. Is getting out of here as well. And I don't think that they have the firepower to get us, um, to kill us. Torque is too well hidden. Axiom shrugs off the damage, so that's fine. Plus, we can med kill, heal. You will be fine. There you go, buddy. Don't go in. Just move away and leave them be. Thank you. Well, that's another unconscious enemy. Exterminated. The only problem uh, or the only difficult part is Torque needed to decide whether or not uh, she gets her approved uh, squeeze, which I've taken, or 20 additional dodge and a bit movement in the first round. As much as I like building maximum dodge, just to tank even more, the improved, um, the improved damage is pretty substantial. Like, it goes up from 2 to 5. And she would now deal 5, 5, 7, 7, 9 uh, damage on enemies that she squeezes. And we're back in action. Alright, two items, an armor slot and a utility item. Also, minus unrest is good and 50 intel. We unfortunately didn't get the bonus intel. Cool. Your mind is one of the calmest I have encountered. For a human? For anyone. How do you remain so placid? Regular exercise, prayer, and I allow myself to love the world people around me what about caffeine I never touch the stuff good we could get more alarium here and uh, we could more get more Intel yeah I think we're going for the Intel we're we're still good on alarium plenty of alarium left over so let's go for Intel I would say And there are a couple of cool things. Number one, got some more intel. Let us upgrade another team. We got a scavenger market open, um, so what do we have? Motile inducer, target uh, ally gains two actions immediately, does not affect target's cooldowns. Ooh. Hmm. That's not bad, I like it. We had that one before. 
certainly good. I mean, it's a free action to use it and you're essentially giving someone two actions for the cost of nothing. Hmm. On the other hand, I really like building up the city. We already have ring three, ring three, ring three, ring three, and four, four times ring two. And uh, that leaves me wondering whether or not we should simply continue doing that. Epic submachine gun. Yes, we can certainly use uh, that. Epic assault rifle. Hmm. We haven't gotten an epic assault rifle yet. And for our main team, that would certainly be good. Birch could use it. And question is, I mean, yeah, we could, we could quarantine this. Yeah, but the problem is we can't quarantine all of it. So we can quarantine that. We got to do this. And we just have to let this one go for now. Hundred and fifty. Holy moly. Nah, I guess I'll rather use the free upgrade team. 150 is a lot. Can use the Intel rather to um, to upgrade. Uh, well, that's 110 already. Well, I guess we need more free upgrade teams. But I think it's worth it because it's going to reduce the unrest even further. On the other option, uh, on the other hand, this year would be great. Just reducing district unrest regularly per default. I think we're going to take that. Which day is it? Uh, by the way, can I see that somewhere? Oh, Wednesday. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Which this year. This upgrade here would mean that there would be a regular minus to unrest in two days, right before it hits um, five and becomes unruly. We could essentially it would go back to three. Okay, we got to do this, and we got to quarantine this area here. Too bad, we need to wait for another um, epic assault rifle. I like these scavengers, but we've used our intel for other means. At the moment, we are researching improved uh, spec ops. No, yes, here we go. Um, that's That would mean we have a second slot for someone to run. Um, specifically important once our training is done. Uh, all of the level 5 agents can then run spec ops and speed up the game even more. And the next thing that I'd like to um, research uh, then is breach technical equipment. Because we have so we have a lot of breach slots and we haven't even used uh, them uh, yet. Okay, that's it for today guys. A uh, bit of a shorter mission. It took me a while to even set up the mission to begin with. Next time we're going to go for an armed uh, robbery, um, uh, or we are trying to fight against an armed robbery um, and get an epic submachine gun as a reward, uh, as it's called arms robbery. Thank you for watching. I enjoyed it. I hope you did so as well. Keep the likes and the comments coming and let me know what you think. See you on the next run. Bye bye.